Hey, what's going on? My name is Ed Shaw. Welcome to Ed Shaw Graphics. Hey, check this out. It's time to go over shirt labels, how to screen print them and stitch them right onto your t-shirt. That's right. Screen print shirt labels. And I do them right on 100% polyester ribbons. So you pretty much can purchase ribbons from a place like the fabric store or Walmart where you can order online. So these ribbons are 100% polyester and I use 100% polyester ink. So I print out either black or white, but they also have other colors such as red, uh, blue, green, purple, whatever. But I usually print out black and white. So. Right now, we're going to work with the black rivets and white ink. So that's what we're working with. Let's get started. Alright, so these ribbons right here is what I usually screen print on. Like I said, this is 100% polyester. So I have either, I think this is like about, about two and a half inches wide. And this one here is probably like, I'd say about, probably a little bit over an inch. Let's see. Yeah, I said about an inch and a quarter. And these is close to somewhere around two and a half inches, something like that. So I'm gonna be using these right here. I'm gonna be screen printing on these with white ink. So right now it's about that time to go over to the illustration board and uh, see what I can come up with. All right, so I'm here back again working with illustration as you can see I have uh, two of my ownership logos printed out the word ownership of course that's my brand my label for my label and what I did was I grouped them together I got them like about four inches I said four inches four in the I said about four and a quarter inches apart and when you're doing something like this, you want to make sure that the words are far enough apart where when you start cutting on the material, you want to have a, enough material space where you can fold it the way you want to fold it before stitching off to the t-shirt. So it's real important to, uh, to know how far apart you want these words to be. And that's also going to determine how many words you might want to have on your screen and print out at the same, you know, at once at the same time. So in this case, I'm using two. Before I used three, three, three of these words, but the words, they was a little bit too close together for me to cut the material and fold. If, you know, I wasn't having enough folded space. So I'm going to go with two instead of three this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it right in the middle just like that because that's where I want it. Print it out on the transparency. So right now, it's about time to print it out. All right. I got two of these printed out. And like I said before, I had, you know, when it comes to transparency, I got to print at least two of them out just to make sure that the ink comes out dark enough. So once I print two of these out, what I do is I, I place them together like this just to make sure that it's dark enough.
just like that. So now it's time to head over to the exposure unit. Alright, so now it's time to burn this onto the screen. I think my screen is about ready. to place over it. And then I'm gonna place this over it to apply pressure. Now it's time to set the timer, 17 minutes. All right, so now I'm all set to print. And what I did was I cut like 10 inches of this ribbon. I'm not going with the white, I'm going with the black. But if you notice, I have the white ribbon and I'm placing it over the black ribbon just so I can be able to see, through, see the ribbon through the screen as far as the position. So it's gonna kind of help me get in the right position. Right now it's a little bit crooked. Let's see. So I can see the white ribbon right through the screen. And I can look at it and I can tell that it's almost straight. Let's see. Straighten it out a little bit more.
I got some adhesive spray on here, so it's kind of sticking to the board a little bit. That's good right there. Spray on here, stick it to the board. I shouldn't have put no spray on here at all. And put a little time on here. Hopefully, it's straight this time. Okay, that's a lot better right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print this. And I can rub it down. Trying to add the ink on. I don't need a whole lot of ink, just a little bit. Since I'm doing a very small print, all I need is just a little bit of ink. So each time I print this, I'm gonna be printing two labels. Two labels at one time. So right about now, I'm about to print two of these. Lay, let the heat, fight, heat flash get it for about a minute. I don't think the temperature is quite all the way up, so instead of giving it 30 seconds, I'm gonna give it a whole minute. Making sure the ink is cured. Right, reheat it. Give it another 30 seconds. Okay, so now that I have my my label screen printed, actually I have two of them screen printed at the same time. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut this label in half to make it two labels. Cut it right down the middle. I see about like that. And I just take it, simply fold it, 
just like that. simply just fold it a couple of times. Just like that, then I just cut off the extra material that I don't need. I guess it's safe to cut about this much though. Just like that. These labels, I can either stitch them on the shirt at the sleeve, or sometimes I can put them at the bottom. This one here, I'm gonna put on the sleeve. I'm gonna make sure I have it folded straight, awesome. Just like that. show you how I have it folded. So I fold it twice on both ends, then fold it right in the middle just like that. So I can stitch it, stitch this either at the bottom of the shirt or I can put it right at the sleeve. Right now, I want it at the sleeve, so I'm gonna stitch on this black t-shirt. This black ownership apparel t-shirt. should do it. I normally use pins to hold the label in place, but I'm gonna try to do this without the pins. I don't see any pins laying around, so I'm just gonna do it without the pins. Hopefully it come out right. start your, your very first stitch, you want to go back and forth a couple of times. That way you won't have to worry about the thread coming loose. And you just stitch it right through. Then do that same thing, go back and forth a couple of times. And 
that shit do. Nice and even perfect stitch. That's it. What can I say? Your boy got skills like that. Hey, if y'all like this, subscribe. Just keep checking me out on YouTube. Check me out on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, Airshaw Graphics. All this shit apparel. Airshaw Graphics. Eddie Man Shaw. Look me up on Facebook. All this shit apparel. Ownership Apparel on Instagram. I'm out.